All right, today I'm going to go through some pin detents and uh, the different kinds and uh, hopefully I can show you some of the issues that uh, will help you stay away from certain impacts uh, where you can spot this issue and uh, probably save you some trouble because there are some good pin detents and there are some that are really not appropriate for uh, working on cars. They're really meant to just hold the socket on. And um, some, I think, are just poorly made. And uh, probably the manufacturer missed some details. So I made this video like six years ago. It's about the DeWalt DCF899. Uh, pin detent versus the hog ring and I showed how the pin detent in this particular model was actually easier to use than their hog ring and um, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to my Photoshop and I'm gonna have to do this freehand Photoshop and I'm gonna draw the different kinds of pin detents and uh, show you what the issue is here so Let's first look at this. This is a ball detent, okay? And um, the picture is not the clearest, but you can see this is the pin and the top of it is shaped basically round. And that's what you see sticking out of the anvil. It looks like a ball, but it's actually a pin with a rounded end. So if I draw this rounded end here, Let's see, if I draw this rounded end here, okay, you can see it has a very smooth slope. We'll call this like the ramp. It's really, it's not very steep at all. And when the socket goes on, it can easily ride this ramp, pushing it down. Like remember, this is a pin in the anvil. Okay, there's a spring here. Socket rides the ramp and it can compress this pin down and get locked on. But as it gets locked on, if you pull it, it can easily ride back this way. This very shallow ramp can ride it push it down and come off easy. Just with your fingers, one pull comes off. This is what you find now. Uh, what impact used that kind of ball T10? I don't know if you remember, but the uh, Ryobi P260 had that ball T10. Very easy to use. So the next one is, uh, let's see. This is a DeWalt. This is like a DCF 899 style pin detent. All right. And you can see the ramp. There's no vertical face showing of the pin. This is really important. It's basically just all ramp to the point and that's it that you don't see much. So let me draw that. Oops. goes like that, goes like that, goes down like that. Then you got the spring, right? And that's it. There's no vertical face of the pin sticking out past the anvil. So the socket comes up here. Here you have a steeper ramp compared to the ball. So it does take some effort to push the socket on and compress this down and push the pin down, socket goes over, pin comes back up, gets locked in the hole. And to pull it off, it's not as easy as the ball detent where you can just pull it off with one tug um, and the socket's not just going to fall off. You kind of have to rock it up the ramp and 
try to push this pin down. So it's not so easy as the ball, um, but it's not to the point you can't remove the socket with some. Um, effort all right so that's a dewalt pin detent and all you see is the ramp sticking up from the anvil that's it all right no vertical face this is important to remember all right let's get rid of that all right so let's look at some Milwaukee style pin detents and you see a lot of people have some issues with this pin detent and why is that because you see it looks basically like the DeWalt well here you go well I can't so the Milwaukee actually comes up and it, it looks like this Okay, so it basically has that same ramp, but right here, right here, you have a bit of a vertical face sticking out past the anvil, all right, on both sides, vertical face. So when the socket goes on, sometimes the sockets, if they're used, they have a rounded edge at the square drive so they can actually go past that vertical face and uh, push down the ramp, go on, click into the hole. But once they get into the hole, those holes rarely have uh, worn out edges and the edge of the hole gets locked onto that onto that vertical face so you see people put their socket on but they have trouble pulling it off and the big complaint is they need to use a tool to go in and push the pin down right and then pull the socket off it's because a bit of that vertical face is sticking out and remember it doesn't have to be much it has to be a little edge like right there this is actually a milwaukee uh, pin detent and it just has to be a little edge that catches the socket and that's it right so that is the issue with the milwaukee's if you're wondering uh, i personally would stay away from the pin detent version if you're thinking you can rock off the socket it's probably not gonna well as you can see there's multiple videos on this topic actually it's not so easy to do um, I think the other issue is with the Milwaukee um, pin detent I know someone tried to push out the the pressed pin to take the pin out to grind it but this pin was super hard to get out. So uh, it was, it's not so easy just to get the pin out too. So that's an issue with the Milwaukee's if you're wondering. Now, what's the next pin? Let's see here. The next one is the straight, the totally, completely straight pin like this. All right, it's completely straight. There's no ramp at all, no ball edge, no pointy edge, and the socket can't even go on. You have to push the pin down, push the socket on, 
it clicks into the hole and it's there for, for good. You're not rocking it off at all. You have to use an Allen key or something to screwdriver to push it down, then pull off the socket. So if you're looking for an impact and uh, you're thinking about the pin detent, definitely you're going to have to open the box and look, is there any flat face or vertical edge on the pin? That is definitely going to give you some issues. Anyways, I hope this was helpful. Thanks.